Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage, presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, the Bank of Billings, Shelter Insurance Agent Grant Baker in Aurora, and as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. Going to go down to the southwest part of the state, and we welcome Carthage Tigers head football coach John Guidey to the show. Coach, hey, thanks so much for your time today. You bet. Thanks for having me. Coach, uh, off to a, a very great start here as we head into districts. You're 9-0. and you, I mean, you're 41-5 and over the past four seasons. But this year, maybe uh, maybe one of your better seasons that you've had in a decade. Uh, and really talk about this team and what makes them special. Well, I think that probably starts with our senior class. It, it's, your, it's a really – really good group of kids. They're fun to be around. They're fun to coach. They have a lot of chemistry. Uh, they show up every single day ready to work with great attitudes and, and, you know, and they're, they're good and they're good football players. I mean, in addition to that, I mean, they can play a little bit, so it's been really fun this year. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, as you look back two years ago, coming out of that, that state championship game and the runs that you've had, uh, kind of compare and contrast this team to that team of two years ago. You mentioned that senior class. A lot of those were, uh, you know, sophomores, you know, that season. You've got Luke Gall, who I think was part of that run, who's just a junior this year, but, uh, you know, had, a, had a, a, you know, made some great plays in that state championship game. Kind of compare and contrast those two teams. Yeah, the, uh, the 2019 team, you know, it, it was a very strong class as well. And, you know, we had a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, really good experienced players that year. You talk about kids like Patrick Carlton. Uh, you talk about kids like Cale Schrader, Alex Martini, Oscar Campa. You know, the list goes on and on with, with some really good football players that have been in the program for a long time and, and have a lot of games underneath them. Uh, this year's team, probably not as experienced. To be honest, we, we got it. We had a lot of new faces, had to fill in a lot of different spots. Uh, new quarterback, of course, with with Caden Cabance. And you never know what you're going to get when you when you start with a new a new quarterback from year in and year out. Um, you know, our offensive line, we had two guys back from a year ago. So we have three new starters up front. Uh, we have a, a broke in a new tight end as well. So just just a lot of new faces. Uh, but kids who. Like I mentioned, you know, that they're good football players. I don't know if we have a lot of stars, um, but they're all really good. And, and the chemistry is good. And, you know, if you compare that to the to 2019, there are some similarities. But I think I think the 19 team had a, a lot of experience coming into that year. You know, the thing that impresses me when I when I watch your team, you know, on film, uh, the offensive line play is tremendous. The, the blocking and had an opportunity to visit with Luke Gall a week ago, and he mentioned that. They also said the the receivers uh, they just they block so well downfield, uh, where he just he don't he doesn't feel like he's got to make a lot of guys miss. Uh, you know what what is it about that 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 group there, the offensive line and and the receivers blocking downfield? It's it's been really special all year. Yeah, they the offensive line. They're they're like every every team's offensive line. They're their own identity, and and uh, you know they they take they take it pretty seriously. Um, you know they start way back in March. You know getting together and working on some footwork and and things like that, and and they just have developed into a really cohesive group and very smart. Um, you know it. You know last year we had we had one or two kids that would communicate the front and communicate blocking schemes this year, all five of them can do that. And I think that goes a long way because in this conference, you're going to see everything, every front um, ever invented and, and stunts and blitzes out of those fronts. And for those guys to be able to communicate that, recognize it, and then be able to execute it, that says a lot about them, about, a lot about them. And I would include our tight end Tyler Willis in that group too, because he's just as important uh, in that group. You know, as you mentioned, the COC, the conference, and the, and the different fronts that you see, uh, it's got to be great preparation to play in what I believe is is among the top two or three best conferences in the state, no matter the level with regards to that. not only football, but in every sport, but in football particularly, that's got to go a long way to prepare you for these state runs or prepare whoever uh, comes out of that conference. 
Yeah, the COC is just uh, it's a really good football conference, very strong teams, a lot of great football players and a lot of great coaches. Uh, every week you better you better show up and, and be prepared or, you know, even even from the top to the bottom, you know, even those bottom tier teams. You know, it, there's never a gimme. There's never a week off. You know, you have to you have to prepare just like you do every week and, and be able to to show up and execute the game plan. As you head in here to this this first your first round of districts here in the quarterfinals of district play, you've got a Weller team who just a month ago you handled pretty easy. Any dangers of maybe kids looking past this contest? Uh, you, you mentioned, uh, and they've got a, they've got a good coach there as well. What, what's the preparation like here as you head into that to that Willer Tigers game? Well, hopefully it's just much of the same, to be honest. You know, we played them, I want to say midseason, maybe week six, and and looming the next week was a big Joplin game. So uh, it's kind of a similar situation, you know, with the district championship next week. And, and so, you know, luckily, you know, like I mentioned, these kids are really good. They're really smart. They're really experienced. And, and I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think, I think they're going to show up for practice like they always do with, with one thing on their mind, and that is getting better every single day, and, and hopefully it carries over into the game. Outstanding. Going into this game outside of me, I know it's week 11 uh, here in high school football, so people, you know, folks have got their bumps and bruises. But are you guys relatively healthy going into this game? Yeah, I think so. You know what? The biggest thing was just get to the bye week. And when you get to the bye week, you can you can take it a little bit easier and give them a couple of days off. We gave them Monday off. We gave them Friday off and we hit it pretty hard Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But I think overall we're, we're healthy. Um, like you said, we're maybe just a little bit banged up. But, uh, you know, the, it's this week has been really good for them. Outstanding. Well, Hey, Coach, uh, I really appreciate you being generous with your time here and jumping on the Missouri Sports Network. And, and hopefully as this run continues for you, we'll get, to, we'll get to visit down the line again. I really enjoyed it. All right. Thank you. Same. You bet. Coach John Gotti, Carthage Head Football Coach here on the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage.